Welcome to Daily Coinka Crypto News. Here are today's headlines. The Ukrainian Central Bank is pushing for a fair Bitcoin regulation. Payment giants cooperate with crypto companies for security reasons. Smart contracts come to Bitcoin via Infinity's internet computer. Monero's former supervisor has been released from US surveillance. SEC chairman compares stablecoins with poker chips in casinos. Now let's dive into the details of these. The Ukrainian Central Bank is pushing for a fair Bitcoin regulation. The National Bank of Ukraine NBU, issued an official statement on September 13 on the fundamentals of monetary policy for the coming year, paying particular attention to cryptocurrency regulations. The central bank stressed that the NBU recognized the importance of technological innovations related to virtual assets and saw promising opportunities such as improved access to financial services and increased competition in the payments market. Payment giants cooperate with crypto companies for security reasons. Institutional interest in digital assets continues to overgrow proving that cryptocurrencies, stablecoins, and unusable tokens NFTs, will persist. At the same time, traditional financial institutions are beginning to understand the urgent need to support digital assets adequately. Experience Payment Methods Ajay Bala, president of Cyberspace and Intelligence at MasterCard, shed light on the matter, telling Cointelegraph that MasterCard customers and other partners are looking for solutions to ensure that the crypto economy is given the same level of security that consumers receive with traditional ones. To ensure this, the payment giant recently announced the acquisition of CypherTrace, a blockchain intelligence analysis company that has developed crypto forensics capabilities for over 900 cryptocurrencies. Smart contracts come to Bitcoin via Infinity's internet computer. The Infinity Foundation's internet computer chain brings smart contract functions to the Bitcoin network (BTC) and potentially opens the door to new use cases for the leading cryptocurrency. Internet computer will use so-called keychain cryptography to integrate Bitcoin and pave the way for intelligent contracts whose native BTC addresses are stored directly on the internet computer. The Infinity Foundation announced on Tuesday. Monero's former supervisor has been released from U.S. surveillance. Ricardo Spagni, the main administrator of the data protection coin Monero, reported that U.S. officials had released him after more than a month in detention. In a September 21 tweet, Spagni speaks that he is working with his legal team to return to South Africa to clear up the allegations made against him. Authorities in the U.S. arrested Spagni in August on fraud charges related to alleged crimes in South Africa between 2009 and 2011 at a company called Cape Cookies. SEC Chairman Compares Stablecoins with Poker Chips in Casinos The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission Chairman, Gary Gensler, has doubled his Wild West analogy to cryptocurrencies and called stablecoin tools for gambling in casinos as durable. Speaking to Washington Post columnist David Ignatius, Gensler said Tuesday that most of the projects in the crypto space deal with securities that are under the control of the SEC, while the Commodity Futures Trading Commission hybrid, or CFTC, is more likely are suitable for enforcement against others. The SEC chairman described the authority of both agencies as strong, but said there were gaps in coverage particularly with stable coins that could have the characteristics of an investment contract. 